hi guys how are you guys doing i hope you're all well i apologize about my crusty boys i am just about to fly out well not not right now but i'm traveling soon i'm traveling today so i've just gotten up and i'm like let me film this video quickly schedule it and then go start getting ready for my flight so i apologize for the crusty voice and like my just woke up face okay Anyways, I just wanted to talk to you guys about my reasons for leaving social work. Well, I haven't really left social work. I've just left my current job. And I just wanted to talk to you about it. I basically uploaded the video about when I quit, yes, about my quitting yesterday. And you guys had a million questions. So I just wanted to quickly talk about like the good things that I found about child protection and the stuff that I didn't find so great. And the, the things that contributed to me leaving child protection social work so yeah hopefully that will give you a bit of an insight if you wanna um i did talk a little bit also about like my the good things i, I found about child protection and the negative things in the video where i say child protection is not realistically not for everyone i'll link in the description box below if you're interested in checking it out but this is like my final sort of judgment that's for the lack of a better word um for why i left my recent job okay so yeah go ahead and subscribe give this video a thumbs up one of the m most challenging things i found was there was a level of helplessness that some of the clients that i was working with were experiencing like there's so many layers of issues like from their own trauma from their current trauma, from like even uh, systems abuse, like not even having access to certain things and stuff like that. And there's just so many complexities that they don't see a way out. And you as a worker can get consumed by that. And I found that in some cases, like I kind of felt like I really don't know if this is gonna go anywhere. I kind of felt that same level of overwhelm, of helplessness, of, like um just a lot of oh like this is just too hard like i literally feel exactly how i think my clients would have been feeling in those circumstances there is a thing called transference and counter transference which happens generally in counseling where you start to feel like how your client feels like you carry their energy and i feel like it was very prevalent in child protection and so if you as a worker start to feel that way, how are you even able to help your client? You know what I mean? So that was something that I really, really struggled with. And I think will be, and it did happen in like my other jobs, like domestic violence and that. But then I feel like in those circumstances, it was completely different to how it felt in child protection. In child protection, you felt like, oh my God, like where are we actually going to get from here? And you know, a lot of the time, removal is last resort. So you're doing your best to work with the family. But it's almost like you know they're not really going to get anywhere and the child will just remain there and just grow and grow up in this, whatever it is that's going on there. And there was just this thing about it that I really, really struggled with. The other thing that I uh, found difficult, I did mention in my previous video, is there's so much grey area, you know? it's very very difficult to be objective in this role like at the end of the day i'm coming into your home home and i'm telling you that a b and c that you're doing isn't necessarily suitable for your child's development you know what i mean and i think that um every circumstance is different yes there are circumstances where it's very clear that not nah, this child cannot be here especially when it's a baby when it's a baby baby and there's like extreme drug abuse and things like that then you know it's very obvious that no this is not safe baby can't be here but when it's that stuff that isn't um it's that cumulative stuff that stuff that isn't clear that you know um baby is unsafe but at the same time there's the family definitely needs help then it's very tricky you know because at what point do you say no enough is enough because when people have been through trauma it takes a long time for them to start to pick up these things and start working through their issues and sometimes they're not even able to at all and so it's just such a I don't know like who am I to come in to tell you how to care for your baby kind of thing you know what I mean especially when it's not that obvious stuff like extreme drug abuse and it's a newborn baby and like you know 
when it's not like that it's very very difficult to make decisions around it ultimately the decision isn't up to me but my opinion will count in the end you know so that's another part that i really really struggled with i hope i'm making sense the other thing that i didn't like was i copped a lot of abuse because it's an uh, involuntary service yes it's bound to happen like in my previous role I got coffee thrown on me and I got abused a couple of times like verbally and stuff but it's obviously more common in child protection because you're an involuntary service no one wants to see you no one wants to work with you basically leave them alone like they're not interested so um, that's something that I didn't necessarily enjoy um, and you will obviously I had to work with dads as well and so when they're abusive dads a lot of the time they think they can use that same like tactics and controlling behavior on you and stuff and i just i, I didn't have time for it if i'm being honest so that was another reason why i was like mm, maybe it's time for a change the other thing that i struggled with was in my team i didn't get supervision so i was there for nine months there was no supervision never got there was group supervision which is you know where people come and present their cases and you guys have a chat about how to help each other and stuff like that but individual one-on-one -on -one supervision was non-existent and in such a high stressful environment like how long can you go without supervision you know what i mean so i'm not sure why so that's something that i was like mm, i don't know about that ultimately the reason why i left so yes these are things that were not necessarily great but ultimately the reason why i left was i have goals like i have other goals that i want to pursue like i've been planning to move to a different country for a little while um so this was the time for me to start putting together things to get that happening so that was the ultimate reason why i left if if it wasn't for that i probably would have stayed in this role for maybe up to a year before i changed but um because of those plans i decided to leave a little bit earlier so yeah i will be updating you guys on that um on where i'm going and what i'm doing and in going i'm not necessarily going to find a new social work job um i'm looking to find a way to practice social work values um at least for a little while before i consider getting back into a job so yeah i know this is really vague but i will update you guys in my upcoming videos in the things that i enjoyed about child protection i really enjoyed working with the kids like the kids are just so cute and i missed all the chaos they're always so cheerful and you know they still deeply care about their parents and you know they really want to be with their parents as any child would and it's just really nice to see their optimism despite everything that's happening so i really enjoyed that um the other thing was when clients were willing to work with you it was really lovely to be able to support and be able to make a difference in um those uh families lives and you know just the relationships that you're able to build and the fact that you become such a valuable part of their life is really really meaningful so i really really enjoyed that and i also enjoyed the level of holisticness um that child protection has incorporated um in their current practice so i really really enjoyed that as well so yeah i hope this got this give you guys a little bit of clarity around why i'm moving on and why i'm trying to do something different i apologize again for my like half asleep face but i hope this yeah has helped a little bit go ahead and give this video a thumbs up it helps me out a lot and it can help me to continue to make videos for you guys subscribe if you haven't already and um turn on your notification bell just so you're updated every time i upload a video thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next one take care guys bye